Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of the working wall breaches in GTA 5 Online. Now, I know the title says all of the working and I've just said all of the working, but obviously I can't do all of them because then the video will be like an hour long. So I'll probably do it in different parts. So if you do go on to enjoy this, then if you could drop a like and subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated. And it will tell me if you want to see a part two as well. But anyway, let's get into the first wall breach. Looking for the best cheap GTA 5 services? Then make sure to check out Sebi Mods, as they offer the best and cheapest GTA 5 services like modded accounts, money services, RP services and a lot more for a very cheap price. You can get 1 billion for just $100. They do all these services for PC, PS4 and Xbox. If you want to buy any of this then make sure to head to the description and click the link. Also make sure you use code EVADEX at checkout to get 10% off of your order. Getting straight into the first wall breach, all you're going to do is head over to Michael's house, which is going to be located right here. So this wall breach will be able to get inside of Michael's house and explore. All you're going to do is come to the back of his house and you just want to click RB over here. Now just open up your pause menu, go to the online, jobs, and then go to quick job and then just click play a race. And as soon as you're in, just wait until it says you can quit the race. and then simply just leave. And as you can see, when we spawn back in, we are actually inside of Michael's house. You can do everything in here. You can run around, explore. There's just one thing you can't do, which is go inside of this garage right here. But apart from that, you can actually explore the whole house. However, I don't actually know how to get out, which is the problem. So if you do want to get out, what I recommend you do is open up your interaction menu and then just take the easy way out. Dead. Since we just glitched into Michael's house, we might as well do Franklin's mansion as well. I didn't actually realize, but he actually has two like sports cars at the front of his house just spawned here. But anyway, let's get into how to get into Franklin's mansion. So first of all, you're gonna want to get onto the roof. So to do that, just climb on top of these bins right here, and then climb on the roof. Now for this, you are gonna need an up anatomizer. So. Once you have this, all you're going to want to do is come over here and you're going to shoot it exactly where I shoot it. So you just want to walk backwards and shoot it around here. And it might take a few turns to get it, but you should just glitch inside of the house. As you can see, just like that, you'll fall through. And here we go. We are now inside of Franklin's house. I'm stuck. Um, it's... There we go. You can see we're actually inside of Franklin's house, so you can just explore around here, just like we did with Michael's house. And once again, we are going to have to take the easy way out. Dead. Okay, so for the third wall breach of today's video, we're going to be getting into this tugboat, which is located here on the map. All you simply want to do is obviously jump on, don't fall in the water. And you simply just go to this corner right here and you just jump inside. It's that simple and boom we are inside. Now the good thing about this one, we can actually shoot outside as you can see. This is good for doing a CEO mission called Most Wanted as the police will come, they can't kill you, you kill them and you can just get some easy money doing this. But anyway, let's go on to the fourth wall breach of the video. Alright, so the fourth wall breach, uh, we're going to be going under the map into the water. For this, it's going to be located right here on the map. What we seem to do is just jump down here and hopefully not die. It's a bit high, isn't it? Okay, we're fine. Alright. Yeah, once you're here, if you look at these palm trees here, you just go to the left of it, right around about here. If I can get up. Where is it? There it is. And I'll simply just climb on this rock and then just pull out your up anatomizer and aim towards this little triangle here and just walk in. At one point you should fall over just like this. And then once we oh no. Oh it might take a few tries of just rolling down there, but let's see. And there we go. As you can see, we glitch and we just spawn in some random water underneath the map. 
As you can see, we're legit underneath the map. You could just swim around and have a look up. But this next one, I think a lot of people already know this one, but in case you didn't, uh, there is a glitch where you can go underneath the pier right here. All you need is an SUV like this. You can steal one off the street if you don't have one. And just park it underneath this vent right here. Now simply just hop out and then hop on top of the car and then just jump into this vent. And you'll just fall through the wall into this little spot right here. Now you can't actually shoot out of this one but it's still a really good place to be. And if you do want to get out, simply just walk out right here. With this next one, this one is actually a personal favourite as we're going to be getting into the FIB building. Now this building is massive so there's a lot to explore in here. All you need to do is bring a cargo bob to this location here. Then park it just like I do like this and then get any gun out. And then just simply roll underneath and you should glitch in if you've done it correctly. Now sometimes this may happen but it's okay just keep trying. Now sometimes you may actually need to adjust the cargo bob which I think I might need to do. It doesn't seem to work with me right now so I'm just going to adjust the cargo bob and put it on a different spot. I'm going to do it on the opposite spot to this one so on the other side over there. Now right now I can't actually do this one but I'm going to show you a clip of someone actually doing it just to show you that it, this one does actually work. Oh my god I've just found a launch glitch. Okay, anyway, let's get on to the 5th wall breach. Or 6th, I don't know. I'm lost on numbers, but let's just get on to the next one. Alright, so for this next wall breach, we're going to be getting into the roof of the main Los Santos Customs, which is located here. But all you want to do is just bring a personal vehicle, and then get a gun out, and just drive up to the Los Santos Customs as close as you can. And now just simply kill the guy inside, and drive in. And I'll just get out the car, you just want to leave that there. Now get the up anatomizer and you're going to destroy three things. You want to shoot here, here, and also over there. So once you've blown all them up, we're going to be getting onto these tires right here. To do this, you just want to aim it up right about here. And once you land on the top, as you can see, oh, no, oh, I fell, no mud. It might take a few tries to get it, just keep trying. As you can see we land on the tires and then when we spawn as you can see we're actually above the main Los Santos customs. Look at this. Obviously we can't actually shoot down but it's just really cool just being up here. We get a whole view of Los Santos customs on the roof and if you look around we just see like water and land and stuff. Look at that rainbow oh my god. Anyway let's go on to the next one. I mean, since we've just done the top of Los Santos Customs, we're going to be doing the top of the ammunition store as well. All you want to do is just open the doors by shooting it, and then shoot the guy inside. And kill him, don't just shoot him like I've just done. He's going to get up. I didn't kill him, did I? Okay, never mind, I did. And then all you want to do is get your up and atomizer, and we're going to need to glitch on top of this vending machine. To do this, just aim where this paper is about there. Ah, that was close. Right, you want to just get it until you can land on there. Once we do like this, we should teleport into the roof. And there we go. Now, just like the Los Santos Customs, we are inside of an ammunition store instead in the roof. You can walk around, look about. It's actually quite a cool glitch to do. This wall breach is actually one of my favourites as well. But anyway, let's get on to another one. Alright, first for the second to last wall breach of today's video, all you want to do is come over here to this dam. Then just get any gun out and you just want to hop over this rail and land on that rail. So obviously to come up on the roof, just use that ladder which is right there and come around here. Now come to this curved railing and you just want to jump off and hopefully land inside of here. Yep, now just simply roll into here and there we go. Now for this one, we can shoot out of some parts like that, but some parts like this, oh we can. Okay, well we can shoot out of here, and it's just a good spot, you can do the CEO missions again, like the tugboat one. But anyway, let's go on to the final wall breach of the video. For the last and final wall breach of this video, all you want to do is come over to this location here. And we're just going to go in this little tarp of this store right here, 
and it's just a little tiny spot you can shoot out do missions for your guns and all sorts of stuff like that all you do is back your car up up these stairs like this then hop out and then hop onto the car and walk close to the back as you can turn around and then just jump up then you can get your gun out I recommend going in first person so you can see a bit better like this you can shoot out and all of that sort of stuff so if you have missions for your gun like the golden pistol you can just get your 500 kills from up here as there is lots of NPCs anyway guys it is going to end out with today's video so I hope you guys did enjoy if you do want to see a part 2 and see some more wall breaches then do be sure to drop a like and also comment down below but anyway I'll see you guys in the next video peace out